Swarovski again, and I'm here to review the Frigidaire dehumidifier. That means this machine is basically a machine to make the room less moist, like if you had a flood and stuff. I had um, a radiator that was an old radiator, actually, that was um, kept like spraying on the carpet and stuff from like the wetness or whatever it was, and... I used this one to um, make the room, you know, less wet and the carpet less wet just to avoid the mold. And then I had also a leak from the chimney or something. So I had um, my chimney was stuffed and then it was like leaking into the closet. So, you know, we wanted to get it out of the kids' bedroom. We didn't want it to have a uh, mold. So I got this um, machine. This machine is a 30 pint. Frigidaire and I'm just going to show you how to basically use it. I'll show you the model as well just so you have it. The model is right over here. Um, it's a, like I said, 30 pint. I don't know if you can see that. So that's basically what it is. And here is the vent thingy. And I'm going to show you how to work it first technologically and then like, um, how to get the drawer out and stuff like that. So first you put it on on. Okay. Second, so it's on right now. Hope you can hear me. And then um, I keep it on high just because I want the job done. You know what I'm saying? Then there's different options with the humidity. I keep it on CO just because I think it goes continuous. I don't use a timer just because like after a few hours I just shut it off. But after eight hours I do get... I get um, like about mm, say like 10 gallon of water or whatever something like that five gallon depends on the day and stuff like that but uh, definitely there's a lot of water in this house um, let me just show you how to work the drawer which is not so complicating see this is the drawer right here just pull them out One second okay I didn't I forgot that the machine is on but I should turn it off. Okay, it doesn't matter. But anyways, this is the drawer. There is a hole right here that um, you pour it out, the water and stuff like that. It is important to keep it dry, like when you're not using it, or like let the drawer open for like a day or two so it dries out. But obviously, you have to pour out the whole water. But again, a few um, drops of water that could definitely cause mold and I had that so the reason why I made this video is because someone no one actually showed a video how to do this model and it was pretty complicating so definitely um, I would like to like basically just give the guidelines how to do it because it is a little hard um, to take it off I don't know if I'm gonna actually take it off right now but you squeeze this together you adjust it hold on you adjust it over here you see that you adjust it to the hole over there you squeeze it out like not squeeze it out sorry you just yeah you you just pinch it together not squeeze it that's um um and then it comes off and then I'm trying to remember what else I did and then you, you see that on the side take off this take off that one and then you take off that one over here um i think that's about it this thing is a little hard because you know there's that gray wheelie on the side but if you have any other questions regarding this model or if you want me to review something else or if you have a technological question like in laptops and cell phones and stuff like that then definitely write the comments below and yes, feel free to subscribe. Thank you.